Hey guys, what is up? So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys like my monthly reset routine. What I like doing at the end slash beginning of each month to like reset myself, you know, get the vibrations right, get in the mood. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like taking you guys around vlog style like usual. Um, I just wanted to make this a little intro because I just wanted to be the, more of this like a structured video showing you guys like what I do. Because you know what? Beginning of the month, so you can consider them new little chapters of your life because if you think about it, it's kind of like a division for you. So you can say like every 30 days, you get new goals and you can reflect on them you can see what you want to do better this month like it's kind of a reset and yeah so i'm just gonna show you guys what i do hopefully give you guys ideas on what to do like at the beginning of the month to recharge make yourself feel better accomplish some new goals yeah we're gonna get into it it's already november i literally cannot believe that it's already november like my mind is literally blown like there's literally two months left of the year two months i'm actually shook at that like i don't even know what to say it's pretty much already christmas which i'm not mad about like i love christmas and i'm already starting to celebrate it so i'm not mad about it but at the same time it's like it's our it's gonna be the end of the year in literally two days it's gonna feel like two days at least so prepare anyways so yeah okay you guys so now what i'm going to do clean my bathroom i'm going to just like refresh it you know wipe down the counter clean the mirror put some products away that have been sitting on the floor make some room for them refill stuff change out my products and just you know make it clean and yeah i feel like cleaning is just something that you can so easily get behind on if you don't set dedicated times to do and it's something that like i if i missed cleaning something during the month and i definitely want to do it by the beginning of the next month just because it just feels so good to go into a new phase with clean shit like it has literally directly correlates to my mental health like if my room is a mess if my surroundings are a mess i will feel anxious and it's just not a good feeling and it'll just like literally give me mental fog like it's horrible and i'm pretty sure a lot of people relate to this where like how cleaner spaces directly correlates to your stress levels how anxious you are because like coming back to a clean space and having it just like refresh is the best feeling this is definitely on the top priority list for my monthly reset is cleaning like that's like so important to me so let's get into it Okay, you guys, so I just had to switch out my mat, unfortunately, because my other one was a Halloween one. So I just put like a plain one on now. Hopefully I can get a Christmas one because I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. But I really like having a mat here just because in the morning when my feet are cold, it just feels so good on my feet if I'm not wearing socks. So we love that. And... Yeah, everything just feels so damn fresh and clean. I'm obsessed. And then in here, I did a bit of organization. I finally put away these face masks that I've been just like literally using them out of the box. Like I've had like the box sitting on the floor because I was too lazy to make room for them in the cabinet. So I finally put them away um, properly in a good spot for them. So now Madison can use them if she wants because they're in here. But yeah, it feels so good. To get shit done especially shit that you've been putting off for the whole month so okay guys so now i'm going to clean my room because that's obviously what needs to happen it's not really that messy right now to be honest like it's not like the worst it's ever been like it's honestly pretty fine right now but i kind of just want to do more of a deep cleaning where i'm gonna just wipe every surface down and just kind of like go more in depth rather than just picking everything up off the floor like i usually do and we're gonna do a little laundry and yeah let's just quickly clean my room i'm gonna wash my bed sheets because i haven't done that in a while i usually aim for every two weeks but i don't think i did it two weeks ago i think i forgot so yeah apparently the recommended amount to wash your bed sheets is every two weeks but sometimes that doesn't happen so it's fine but that's something that I need to prioritize, so we gotta wash my bed sheets. Okay, let's get freaking, let's get cleaning. And honestly, 
doing like just wiping down the surfaces of your countertops and stuff at least like once a month it's going to help with like dust accumulation and all that stuff so yeah i don't do it often where i go in and actually wipe everything down and dust but i feel like at least one once a month is good like it's okay <laughs> mid cleanup sesh i just went in the fridge and got this juice that i made yesterday it has like kale apples celery cucumber a whole bunch of greens carrots and it's just so good so it definitely feels also good to like throw in some good health choices at the beginning of the month to kind of set you up for success for the rest of the month and especially if you were slacking off to continue like good habits and restart them so yeah i just thought i'd share before i continue cleaning this is honestly like a power juice so we love that The next thing that I like to do every month is reset like my wallpaper on my laptop and just kind of organize my desktop and make it suitable for the next month. Like for example, if you look at my desktop right now, it is a fall background. So that's not gonna work for November because we wanna get in the Christmas spirit. So what I like doing, I like going on Pinterest and just like gathering photos and kind of making a mood board for the month maybe content creation inspo picture inspo just like vibes in general for november if you know what i mean because that just helps like set the tone because i literally look at my laptop every single day like there's rarely a day where i don't go on my laptop i feel like november could kind of be an awkward time where like it's not fully christmas mode yet but then like you still want to have a bit of that christmas vibe if you know what i'm saying like you want kind of that transition <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be a little difficult picking this vibe so we'll see we'll see what i come up with and what i also kind of like doing sometimes is getting pre-made collages they have a bunch on pinterest if you just search up like november collage then sometimes they'll make them for you and sometimes i'll just pick one of those because it's easier <laughs> Okay, so I accumulated some photos and now I'm just on PicMonkey. I have a subscription. You don't need PicMonkey to make a collage. You can literally use anything. Um, but I just use it for my thumbnails sometimes to make the collages. So that's what I'm going to use, but you can use anything. So the dimensions that I'm using to make this wallpaper is 1680 by 1050 pixels or whatever it's called. I don't really know. I just searched up a dimension for the background of a laptop, uh, MacBook. So you can just do that. Anyway, so I'm just going to add all the images so I can make a collage. Hopefully you guys can see my screen here. So here is my new and updated background. I love it so much. As you can see, I put a little bit of Christmas spice in there with like this photo. This photo is like snowy and I don't know. It does have a bit of Christmassy vibe, but not overbearing because it's just November. So December, I'll make it more Christmassy, but I actually love it so much. Here, I really like this quote and I really like this quote as well. Yeah, and I feel like this screams November, so I really like how it turned out. If any of you guys want this wallpaper, let me know and literally DM me on Instagram and I'll send it to you because I don't know how else I can let you guys access it. So if you want it, DM me and I will send it to you.
where we regroup and we reflect. So in this new planner that I got recently, I have been doing my reflection on here because I used to just like write out everything, but it kind of gives me everything that I need kind of in short form, which is better and quicker and just straight to the point, which I really like. But you guys can always write it out if you don't have a planner that does this. So here's the template that it gives me. This month's challenge tracker, action items, which means like things you need to get done, you're taking action towards, and then you write down a reward for yourself if you get them done. Physical health goals, career goals, financial goals, mental health goals, social goals, beauty goals. Quote of the month, what did I do right this month? I'm grateful for what I'll do better next month and highlight of the month. So this last portion, you fill out like at the end of the month. So I'm just gonna take some time right now and fill out everything. First, before I do that, I'm going to go back on last month and we're gonna reflect on that to see what I could have done better and everything. Just for some reflection that we can do together, I'll tell you guys some of my goals from last month. So my beauty goal was to get a keratin treatment and that's what I did. My career goals, I put Put to make more structured YouTube content, which I definitely have been doing. Physical health goals, I put no dairy because the month prior to that, I was eating a good amount of dairy. So I was pretty good with that this month actually. So I'm just gonna take some time right now and fill out everything. Let's do it. Okay, so I just finished writing down my monthly goals and everything. Honestly, this is your sign if you haven't done this before. Set monthly goals or even weekly goals, but monthly goals, you can make them kind of more big. And it's kind of like, honestly, it's fun to look back at them at the end of the month and be like, holy shit, I did that. If you strive for a lot, then you're gonna make that happen. You know what I mean? Like if you write something down, it's gonna be in your subconscious and you're gonna wanna make that happen. It kind of holds you accountable. And like, if you're kind of feeling lost or unmotivated, you can go back and look at your goals and kind of like put yourself back in line, if you know what I mean. And just has helped me to like see the bigger picture. It feels so accomplishing when you wrote down something that was like far-fetched that it's like, a real big goal of yours and you end up accomplishing it and you're like holy shit and it really motivates you to do more and keep yearning for more the next month and go bigger because you're you can do whatever you set your mind to you can accomplish like the boundaries are limitless you can do anything it's like just your mind that is telling you yes or no so just know that you can do anything you set your mind to i wrote down i want to hit for 40 000 subscribers which is definitely attainable that's like 10 000 more subscribers than i have right now so it's definitely like a bit up there but i still see it as attainable therefore you know you can do anything so i put that on there i want to go on more walks this month because i just feel like last month i didn't really go on as many as i would like to and i love just going on walks i love driving to like different places and walking it's just very calm and peaceful so i definitely want to do more of that this month i want to meditate more this month because i've kind of been off a meditation game see that's what reflecting back on your goals does is last month my goal was to meditate more and i didn't do it like i didn't meditate more so this month i'm setting that goal again and i'm gonna reassess and strive harder for it and if i hadn't set that goal i wouldn't maybe not even notice but this is making me like reflect you know and my quote of the month is if you believe you shall receive basically it kind of reflects what i was just saying where like you can do anything you set your mind to you just have to believe in yourself you just have to work towards it if you're having the worst week just know that that's happening for you it's almost like it's redirecting you in a different path because you weren't supposed to go on that path and it's redirecting you to the right path so just keep that in mind that like whatever happens to you just like always look at the bigger picture and know that it's, everything is happening for the greater good of things so yeah, that's what I do for my goal setting now. I used to, like I said, write it down in a journal, but this just makes it really easy and I like how it's all laid out for me already. So yeah, you guys can make your own or even maybe if you go online, you can even search up a template. Um, honestly, it's probably not that hard to find, but yeah. I really encourage you guys to goal set. It's just made the biggest difference in my life. So go set your goals and strive high, okay? Can we just take a minute to appreciate how calming this vibe is right now? I can't wait to get into my freshly washed sheets. Literally, freshly washed sheets is the best feeling to go into, especially after having a shower. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. Yeah, anyways, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and resetting with me for the month. I hope you guys got inspiration from this video and just enjoyed it in general. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Peace out.